welcome to another episode of Homicide. What you got going on there, pal? Man, I got the spirit stick right here. Check out this bad boy. It's beautiful. It's got all the class colors on it. So the grade levels were competing all week. Absolutely. Um, what do we have? We had the, the murals, which the juniors took home the championship on that. The hallway decorations was the sophomores. Right the St. Jude donations were the seniors. Um, so that's amazing. Um, the freshmen won a lot of the pep assembly games, but I think at the end, actually I know at the end because I have the total tallies, the seniors are your spirit stick winners. So right we're on. just going to proudly display this back here. It's beautiful. It's a lot of fun. Um, and before we get into the meat and potatoes of the episode, I just want to thank everybody. Everybody in the castle, all our parents, community members, um, teachers, students, everybody. Um, who made this week amazing because this is genuinely a long week but last night we got so many compliments on how amazing our kids conducted themselves how polite they were um, which is not a surprise to us we work with the best kids um, in the state and in, in the country um, but just to see the standard of excellence on display and to see have other people have that opportunity to recognize that man that's a uh, that's what it's all about. And that's what we do. Uh, fall intercession. So next week is our last week before a two-week break. Well deserved, Ooh, right? Absolutely. Ooh, I'm tired. Yeah. Yes. So um, what we have is fall intercession that first week. I think it's October seventh. Is that right? That's October seventh. Um, if you have a credit recovery class or you need a credit recovery class loaded, see your counselor. You get to come in um, if you want from nine to noon. Um, that week and you can get those credit recovery classes done like that if you're a little bit behind if you're a senior who's off track if you're you know sophomore junior whatever come in get those credits made up we'll have breakfast for you we'll have lunch for you um, but it's just a great opportunity work at your own pace get some help and get those classes made up and caught up and those of you that are working at home uh, a this two weeks is a great time to get caught back up right uh, you can get through multiple classes over a two-week period if you are working at home, you come across something that needs unlocked or whatever the case, email me, please, and uh, I will do so. Um, but yeah. Coach Ice does a great job of staying on top of that, too, Absolutely. and unlocks those regularly. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll get you through. Just put the work in. Yeah, definitely. So, speaking of that, we have so many supports here at the castle. All right. We've got every teacher that you interact with, um, reassessments. Um, your counseling team, Mr. Godbolt, your APs, the SROs, all you have to do is reach out. Um, if you're struggling and you're failing, there are so many people here who are happy to help you. We've got tutoring um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like I said, we've got that reassessment opportunity. I was in a couple classes the other day and they actually gave them class time to do those reassessments. So please, 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 if you're putting in the effort to get here every day, put in the effort to get some decent grades um, and make sure we're getting those credits towards graduation. Parent teacher Don't conferences. Um, so when we come back from fall break, um, parent teacher conferences are the day before election day, which I believe gives us a four day weekend technically from school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that Monday the 4th, there will be parent teacher conferences. Don't quote me on the time, I'll get it to you, but I believe it's like 11 to six. They're trying to make sure that first shift and second shift folks have a chance to get in here and visit with our students, teachers. Um, and then we have that election day off. Go vote. Um, do your civic duty. If you are 18, go vote. Um, a lot of you guys are actually working in the polling places. That's amazing. Yeah, awesome. um, I've had probably 25 kids come up and ask me um, as an election judge. That's going to be an awesome experience. So um, do that. Get involved. Um, best country in the world. I say that because of us, because of us as citizens who get to you know elect um folks we don't just have them put in offices for us yes, so we've got a voice we do have a voice you have so a voice be educated use your voice freshman if you struggle the first nine weeks we get it um a lot of you guys were brand new to high school um it's it could be a challenge there's a lot of freedoms that you don't have in middle schools but if you failed multiple core classes um we have some additional supports including placing you in the innovation lab with additional help I'm going to put some of those classes for you virtual. Uh, you'll still be here, but instead of going to your in-person class, you will go to Computer Lab 183. And we're going to try and make up those credits so we can get you on track before we get too far behind mm -hmm. to start because there's no worse feeling than um, being brand new to high school and falling behind. Um, so we're going to reach out and um, make those changes for you because uh, we care about you. So anyway, 
Anything else? No, that's it. Man, that's all I got. Oh Probably God. our last episode before fall break, but we never know. We might pop in next nice. week. Love you, Rich Woods. Yep. I am undefeated in Pep Assembly. Design. Catch me outside, Thank Jack. You guys. Thanks, Matthew. Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? Okay.